Hey there guys, what's going on? Today we've got another video in our best weapons of Modern Warfare series. In the most recent patch, there was some weapon balancing changes. These of course included two of the more powerful weapons in the game, in the MP5 and the M4A1. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always happy to see these overpowered weapons get tuned, but goddamn, this is still basically the same gun it was before the nerf. So you can probably tell by the title of the video what I actually do think about this particular nerf. They are pretty insignificant. The changes were as follows. The MP5 has a reduced headshot multiplier and a small reduction to 10 millimeter range. This isn't really anything to write home about. This isn't actually that significant at all. Like this is basically the vanilla ice cream of weapon nerfs. Like sure, some people like it, but it could always be a little bit better. Today we are of course talking about the overpowered MP5 class in Modern Warfare. But just before we do get into the guide here, let's try and get this video to seven likes. The support has been absolutely massive. So mad props to you guys for supporting me and my videos. We did recently surpass 400 subscribers, literally while I was editing the last video, which is in insane compared to where I was before I started doing the Modern Warfare stuff, so we have definitely come a long way. I'll try and think of something to do for 400 subscribers, maybe might leave it for 500, but we will see. So make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on so you get notified when my videos go live. It only takes two clicks to make my day. Right, let's talk about this overpowered MP5 class. All right, so recently the MP5 did get nerfed and it is pretty much unchanged from before the patch. Like I feel like they probably could have gone way further with these, but they're definitely holding back to keep the flavor of it. The small range reduction is very unlikely to actually affect bullets to kill. Like it's basically turned a three to four shot kill into like a maybe at a push four to five shot kill. Like this gun is very, very similar. Like it's pretty much exactly the same as it was previously. And that's something special because the MP5 is still a complete monster in this game. If you're looking for the absolute best of the best weapons in this, this is the SMG you want to use. Like this is the SMG in this game. The MP7 is pretty good too, but it just, it really can't compete with the beast that is the MP5. It's probably a little bit closer to it now, but it's still better in my opinion. A reduced headshot multiplier is definitely a good change. I can't really argue with that. I don't have the actual numbers in front of me to see how significant this actually is, but usually when a change is quite small, they say so. Like a small range reduction, they'll tell you something if something is actually significant. Like headshots will still do significantly more damage than a body or leg shot, but you'll do less damage to the head than previously. So this gun is still overpowered, but they're slowly moving it in the right direction. So who knows? One day we might see people using the MP5 without the 10 millimeter magazine, but we'll have to wait and see for that. Alrighty, so starting off with our sidearm perks and grenade choices here. They're mostly the same in pretty much every one of my classes. So if you have watched one of my videos before, you'll probably know what I'm about to say. My sidearm of choice is the 357 snake shot revolver. I have no doubt that this is the strongest pistol in the game. This is what they were worried about with the executioner being in Black Ops 2. Like a pocket shotgun is a really, really powerful tool in this game, even if they did nerf it a few patches ago. We have, of course, set it up like this little bonus class setup for you in case you want to do in case you do want to run this on its own. We've got the long barrel, the five milliwatt laser, the lightweight trigger, the snake shot, of course, and the stippled grip tape. This is probably the best attachment setup for this absolute machine of a weapon. Like, this is absolutely wild. Such a good sidearm. Right, so in the perk one slot, we've always got EOD for mine. Like, I just hate dying to grenades and explosives in this game, so I always prefer to die to the second one that somebody throws at me rather than the first C4 that someone throws at me. It's pretty simple. Perk 2, I of course am a kill chain man, like nothing is more satisfying in this game than the cruise missile into VTOL, into the advanced UAV, and then just cleaning, the, like, just cleaning shop with the enemy team, like, such a good perk. And perk 3, of course, is battle hardened. I hate the flashes and stuns in this game, man, they are so very busted. You do still need this to have a chance against anyone who is using them, so it doesn't really do an amazing job, but it helps a little bit, so not too bad of a choice there. Of course, the lethal grenade is the C4, really, really powerful in this game, but all the choices that we've got here, Claymore, Frag, Molotov, etc., they're all really, really powerful, so you can definitely get away with using a personal choice there. And the tactical is, of course, the stim shot, because if you do use the flashes and stuns in this game, you are a massive scumbag. Right, so the first attachment that we have got here is everybody's favorite, the monolithic suppressor. This muzzle does give us that sound suppression damage range that the MP5 absolutely loves. Like, this is really, really important now that especially with the range reduction nerfs, like, you might not be able to fight at those super long distances as effectively as you used to be able to, but for an SMG, that's pretty standard. Like, you shouldn't be able to, like, cross map people with, like, an, an SMG. Like, it just shouldn't be that way. So this is the right way to go for this. This is always one of the best muzzle options that you can take up there with the compensator, of course. I feel like the compensator could also be a pretty good option here. But we've got recoil reduction from some of our other attachments. So I think the extension to our damage range is more important than this. But this is, of course, up to you. So 
pretty much on most weapons in the game, you can always choose between the Monolithic Suppressor and the Compensator. They both do a pretty good job. They will, of course, reduce your aim down sight speed and aiming stability and aim walking steadiness. This is sort of part and parcel with an attachment like this. You do get those bonuses from other things as well, though. So, like I said, both of these choices are really, really good. So, in the muzzle slot, I've actually chosen the Monolithic Suppressor here. Next, in the foregrip slot, we've got the Merc foregrip. The Merc foregrip gives us that recoil control and hip fire accuracy. The MP5 does have a little bit of kick. There is no way around that. Like, that's, that's just how it is. So this foregrip option really does help keep our recoil under control. I feel like in this slot you could also probably use, I think it's the, what, the range of foregrip as well. That gives us more recoil control and aiming stability over the recoil control and hip fire accuracy. So this is a toss up again. Sometimes the hip fire accuracy from the Merc foregrip can actually save your life. Like when you get taken by surprise up close, this has definitely saved me before. So again, another attachment choice that is mostly up to you. Like you can choose between either of these two depending on how you play. If you're more aggressive, probably the Merc foregrip, and if you sort of play a little bit slow, I think the Ranger foregrip would do a very good job. So yeah, again, another attachment that is mostly up to you, but I've gone with the Merc foregrip just so I can be a little bit more effective up close. It does save a little bit of time when I don't have to aim down sight and can still consistently get that kill. I really do like both of these attachments though, one of the most important ones that we do need for this class because without it, the MP5 can be a little bit unreliable in terms of recoil control. Right, so in the stock slot, we've gone with the FTAC collapsible option. The FTAC collapsible does give us that movement speed and aim down sight speed at the cost of a little bit of recoil control, a little bit of aiming stability. This is a really great option for the MP5. This really lets you be more aggressive and rush around the map way more effectively. Like some of the other options in here are fine, like the close quarter stock does a decent job at that aim down sight speed, the classic straight line's a bit lame, and the ultralight's kind of lame too. More of like a stalker option as well, that's not too bad, but I just feel like the FTAC collapsible is just sort of the best option that we can get. Like. I really do like the combination of aim down sight speed and movement speeds from this one and like with the recoil control decreases we sort of don't really have to worry about that too much as we've got coverage from the Merc foregrip option. Like both of these two options really do work together and they are a great combination and that is one of the reasons why this class is so effective. It's a really well balanced between the negatives and the positives on the different attachments and I do love it. Like the gunsmith does really allow you to be creative with your setups and that's definitely probably the best thing about Modern Warfare this year. So in the stock slot, we of course gone with the FTAC collapsible. In the rear grip tape slot, we've got the stippled grip tape. Aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed are some of the best bonuses available for the MP5, no doubt, no doubt. Sprint to fire speed is a rather hard to come by stat in this game, so it's really important for aggressive playstyles to get those sights up much, much faster after you do start sprinting. I'm pretty sure this is basically a mandatory attachment for most weapons in the game at this point, except for those that need a little bit more recoil assistance. Like, you can use the granulated and the rubberized grip tape if you do need a little bit more recoil assistance, but I feel like the stippled grip tape option is just far too good as at what it does. Like, you can't really get many of these stats elsewhere, so... I feel like I just love the stippled grip tape in this game, and it's definitely the most popular attachment for sure, and it's absolutely one of the best ones. Like, it would be one of the best ones if it wasn't the most popular, and vice versa. So, rear grip tape slot, of course, goes to the stippled grip tape. And lastly, of course, in the ammunition slot, you have to go with the 10mm auto 30 round magazines for the MP5. This ammo conversion gives you a massive boost to your damage and range while reducing your fire rate and recoil control a bit. This is still the attachment for the MP5, and even it's even with the recent nerfs, it is still definitely the most important attachment that you can get. Just for the range and damage improvements alone, like it just turns it into a complete monster. As like I said, with the range reduction, it can be a little bit unreliable. Like it's still gonna get you a three to four, five shot kill most of the time. It's just still like aggressively powerful. Like essentially this brings the MP5 closer to an actual assault rifle than an SMG. Like it's just really, really powerful. It could quite possibly receive even more nerfs in the coming patches, like might even reduce the damage a little bit just to force people to use something a bit different in this game, but you already knew this was the most powerful attachment on the MP5, and this class and gun are still exceptional and definitely still overpowered in my opinion. Right, so this is our full class setup here. Welcome back to those guys who just skip through the video and just see the whole class. I see you. I know what you're doing. I love you guys though. I really do love the MP5 in this game. It's still super, super strong, even with the nerfs it's received recently. This is still one of the best weapons in the game for sure. Still in the top one or two, I would imagine. So definitely make use of this class while you still can because I'm sure it will definitely receive more tuning in the future. Thank you very much for watching this one, guys. I do appreciate it massively. And if you did enjoy this and it did help you out at all, make sure you do leave a like and do subscribe if you are new around here with those notifications turned on. 
We're going for seven likes on this one, like I said, but I'm sure you guys will get there pretty easily. I will see you in the next video, guys. Season two is coming out very soon, of course. So stay tuned for all of the videos that will come with that. Bye.